Welcome to CPN, the only news show that's guaranteed to give you constant positive news. Hello, I'm Thomas Wilcox. Yesterday, President Obama delivered his fifth State of the Union address in which he called for a year of action. Ironically, many in attendance received a year's worth of action from the long-honored tradition of standing and applauding. Alive for future generations. The good news, the Democrats collectively burned over 100,000 calories, while the Republicans mastered the art of sitting while pretending to look interested. Meanwhile, south of the nation's capital, a rare snowstorm that produced upwards of three inches of snow, that's this much, created a massive traffic gridlock that stranded some motorists for up to 12 hours. Which begs the question, where does one do their business when nature calls? And speaking of nature calling, one of those trapped in the kerfuffle was a woman in labor. She, however, received help from a good Samaritan police officer who delivered her newborn daughter. No words on the baby's name, but we're hoping for faith. And finally, Royal Caribbean's Explorer of the Seas returned to port today, two days ahead of schedule, because nearly 700 of its passengers and crew had symptoms of what the CDC says is consistent with the norovirus. The bad news? The ship docked in Cape Liberty, New Jersey. The good news is, four out of every five passengers aboard did not get sick. Royal Caribbean also announced all passengers would receive a refund and credit for a future cruise. No word, however, on whether or not that future cruise had to be booked on a Royal Caribbean ship. That's your constant positive news update for now. Good day and good news.